perhaps the third, I guess the third one, after the landing at 4.17 this morning. At 10.11 this morning, he was right overhead, and he saw Antares down below on the moon's surface. And presumably, uh, they have, with those high-resolution cameras, gotten a picture of it. Range of that baby. Mitchell will start uh, deploying the uh, thumper geophone cable uh, to the southeast, uh, which uh, should run off the uh, bottom edge of our picture. That's the cable on which the uh, geophones are uh, are uh, deployed. Uh, along which then they fire off those 21 thumper charges. So then this picture here is black and white now. Uh, while they the, uh, thumper work with the cable color converter here on Earth. This color camera has worked exceedingly now, well. Mrs. Houston, uh, could you tell us where you are in the uh, side or PSC sequence? scientific experiments. It's the one that transmits the information gathered from the experiments back to, to uh, Earth, and uh, which is tied in, of course, with that uh, nuclear generator, uh, which provides it the power for such transmissions and for gathering information, and uh, for getting information from Earth to trigger some of these experiments, such as the mortar charges, which will be fired off after Antares has safely left the surface of the moon. A suprathermal ion detector experiment is also uh, part of a cold cathode, cathode ion gauge experiment, in case you were wondering, uh, called the SIDE, or the CCIGE. To stick what is known as an anchor in the cable uh, to assure himself that he does not uh, pull the offset package. 117 hours, 7 minutes. Uh, is stood on the map. here will measure flux, composition, energy, and velocity of low energy positive ions and the high energy solar wind flux of positive ions. Combined with the side is this cold cathode ion gauge experiment that measures the density of the lunar ambient atmosphere and any variations with time or solar activity such as atmosphere uh, may have. Uh, now you know. Uh, yields information on interaction between ions reaching the moon from outer space, captured by lunar gravity, and those ions that escape. And also measures whether or not secondary ions are generated by ions impacting the lunar surface. And third, whether volcanic processes exist on the moon. And one of the things that uh, they have been trying to determine definitely is one of the clues as to how the moon was formed. Eff effects of the ambient electric field loss rate of contaminants left in the landing area by the lunar module and the crew, and uh, the ambient lunar atmosphere pressure. All of those to be measured by that first experiment deployed. <coughs> now they're deploying the thumper.
seismic experiment. Uh, produced data on the physical structure and the bearing strength of the lunar surface. They really know what that's like close at the surface where they, they're standing Mitchell where the vehicle is lying. The, uh, what they don't know is what it's like down 10 feet, this part 20 of the feet, 100 feet. Uh, seismic experiment. The VFE. Roger, Al. This will give them a clue yeah, as to the actual makeup of the moon's surface itself. Yeah. Whether it's loose rock uh, or hard packed uh, a little bit lower. Whether it's layered or not, this would be very interesting too. The, the thumpers will get them down 75 feet, mm -hmm. and then the, uh, the uh, yeah, mortar the charge will get them down 500 feet. Like information. It's particularly interesting whether or not it is layered and whether these layers change in character. Okay. Uh, Dr. Salisbury, this also uh, uh, will be added to the information from the heavy impact of the uh, lunar module descent stage being uh, impacted again against the moon and the S-4B uh, with its 11-ton charge uh, going against the moon. All of these, all of these give a, will correlate and give a great deal of information about the subsurface structure of the moon. Yes, well, the, the, the thumper and the, and the mortar uh, give information about local subsurface structure, whereas the, uh, the S-4B impact and uh, the and, and the moon quake listening is for more general subsurface structure of the moon. The uh, joking reference to the solar wind harkens back to field trips. He may have cleaned something up on that one. Okay, you said the owl is uh, reached 0.75, being 5.5 five on the O2. I have no flight, I'm on minimum cooling, and uh, very comfortable. Roger, Al, go ahead, Ed. of this lunar walk will continue in a moment.